Alrighty, today we're going to be talking about scale drawings. So here are today's notes. You guys have probably seen scale drawings and maybe just didn't know what that's what they were called. For example, a map is a scale drawing. It's a representation of something that in real life is much bigger or smaller. So scale drawings are used to represent an object that is much larger or smaller in real life. You might be thinking, when would we ever see a model or a drawing of something that is smaller in real life? And the answer to that would be maybe like a cell in your science book. A cell is very tiny, but the drawing would be bigger than an actual cell. Um, the scale that we use so that's too big still, is determined by the ratio of a given length on the model to its corresponding length on the actual object. Remember that a ratio is just a fraction. All right, so here is a floor plan. You might have seen a floor plan if you've gone through maybe like a model home. They have the floor plan that you can pick up on your way in, and it's drawn to scale, which means that the relationship between all of the measurements are true to real life. And they always have a scale just like a map. The scale for this one is one centimeter equals eight feet. That means that every centimeter on the drawing equals eight feet in real life. So question one says, find the actual area of the bedroom. So here's the bedroom, it's this rectangle right here. So let's do each side of the bedroom. It's two centimeters long on the drawing, so we're gonna make a proportion. Remember, proportions are two equal fractions. We're gonna start, you're gonna hear me say this a lot. We're gonna put the model number on top and the actual number on the bottom. So we're doing model over actual. So on our scale that they gave us, one centimeter on the model is eight feet in real life. That equals two centimeters right here on the model, we wanna know how many real life feet that is. Now, sure, you could do that probably in your head, but of course, like always, I'm preparing you for harder problems. So let's set up a proportion. We're gonna do cross products, which means we multiply across. So we have X times one is X, and two times eight is 16. So this is real life 16 feet from here to here. Now let's do the 1.8. So we're gonna do model over actual with our scale, which is one to eight, they gave us that measurement. And that equals 1.8 centimeters on the drawing or on the model, and we wanna know how many actual feet that is. So I'm gonna, again, do cross products, one times X equals eight times 1.8. On my calculator, I'm gonna do eight times 1.8 to get 14.4. So in real life, this distance is 14.4 feet. Now that still hasn't answered our question, which is to find the area. Remember that area is just length times width. So we're gonna do 16 times 14.4 to get 230.4. And it's real life, so it's feet and area is always measured in square units. All right, moving along, we're gonna do the exact same thing with the living room. So I'm going to, so let me switch colors here. Find the actual area of the living room. So let's start with this, which is 2.5. We're gonna do our model over actual equals the model measurement over the actual that we don't know. So we're gonna do one times X and eight times 2.5. 8 times 2.5 is 20, so it's 20 feet long in real life from here to here. Now we want to go across this way, which would be 2 plus 2, so 4 centimeters across. So we're going to do our scale, 1 to 8, model over actual. On our model, it's 4. We want to know the actual. We're going to do cross products, x times 1 and 8 times 4 to find that the actual length of that living room is 32 feet right here. So if we want to find the area, we're going to do the length times the width, which is 640 feet squared. All right, moving right along to our map. Again, a map is just a scale drawing. 
And just like the blueprint or the floor plan, it comes with a scale. You'll see that on all maps. It says that one inch on our map, on our picture on the notes, equals 200 real life miles. So we're gonna take our ruler and measure from here to here, Monterey to Los Angeles. I've already measured that. I know that it is 1.5 inches. So I'm going to do model over actual always. So the scale says that one inch on my model is 200 miles on the actual in real life. Um, and so this is on our model, on our map, 1.5 inches. We don't know how many real life miles that is. So we're gonna do 200 times 1.5, which of course is 300. So in real life, it's 300 miles from Los Angeles to Monterey. For our next example, we have this scale model of the Statue of Liberty. Um, these are the sizes on the of the model, not the real Statue of Liberty, of course, but it does give us one actual measurement. The actual height is 150. So I'm gonna make a proportion that compares, you guessed it, model over actual. So let's first do the height of the entire Statue of Liberty. On the model, it's 30. The actual height is 150 feet. And now let's do the torch height because that's what we're looking for. How tall is the actual torch? The model torch is 4.2. The actual torch, we don't know. So now we know we need to do the cross product. See how I said it was gonna get a little bit harder. So you have to remember where we were going with those simpler problems. We're gonna do three times X and 150 times 4.2. So 150 times 4.2 is 630. And then when we solve a one-step equation with a coefficient, we have to divide both sides by that number out in front. So three, 630 divided by 30 is 21. So in real life, the torch is 21 feet tall. All right, we're getting close here. This one says a scale drawing of a palm tree is shown below and the scale drawing has is three inches tall but the actual tree is 21 feet tall. And all they're asking us here is what is the scale? So the scale is just a comparison of the model measurement to the actual measurement. So we're gonna put the model measurement over the actual measurement, and you can simplify that to one over seven, or you could say that one inch on the model equals seven feet in real life. So we could have it like this or like this. And lastly, we have a scale drawing here um, shown where one unit is 12 feet. So from here to here is 12, another 12, another 12, another 12, another 12, another 12. So that's going to be six 12. So it's in real life, 72 feet across and it's four this way. So four times 12 is 48. So in real life, this garden is 48 feet by 72 feet. They want us to do a new drawing using a new scale that one unit is 24 feet. So if one unit is 24 feet and the real one is 48, we only have to go two boxes to make 48 because it's like 24 plus 24 is 48. And we only have to go three across, right? 24 plus 24 is 48 plus another 24 is 72, which is the real length. So actually this is gonna be half as big as our first drawing. All right guys, that's it. Thanks for watching.